Welcome to today's video, everybody. We are back at the auctions at USS Tokyo, Japan's biggest auction house. And today is a massive day. There's like 16,000 cars here. It is very, very full. And uh, just get a look at this view. Just nonstop rows and rows and rows and rows of cars. Ooh, a nice little, uh, there's my march. <laughs> Sick. So, we're gonna be walking over to the manual section now where all the cool cars that, you know, people watching and myself included know and love. Nice type R. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we'll pick things up once we uh, make our way all the way there. We still haven't gotten to the right section yet, but check this thing out. Come across this old Mark II um, GX. This thing is sick, but what caught my eye was what was in the back seat. The bustle pipe, guys. Like a full bustle pipe that connects to the exhaust that's already sticking high up. <laughs> so you guys can come and buy this and it uh, pretty much comes with a pre-made bustle pipe. <laughs> I love that. Dude, so cool. Like the dash kind of like covers the roof, all the chairs, VIP. Dude, you just don't get cars made like this anymore, do you? I guess the other thing is like it comes with, I don't think the rear door's open, maybe because of the over fenders. But uh, it has so much trash in the back seat on the floor. Some of these cars come with some nice little hidden gems like that. Like, <sighs> yeah. Interesting. Oh, it's even got one of those like uh, flashing police like bars, LED bars. Look, it even comes with a set, of, a pair of socks, guys. It's so weird how sometimes people put cars like this in auction. Does it come with gummy bears? Haribo? Melted gummy bears. Like actually. Ew. Ew, the stuff you find at auctions. I keep finding so many cool cars and we're not even at like the, the main section, but really clean looking 32 GTR on some old NK wheels, which is nice to see. Period correct wheels. Locked, of course. These cars have crept up so much in value now that uh, the keys are no longer stored inside of them. But it looks relatively nice. I wonder what the auction sheet says on this bad boy. Uh, it says a grade 3.5 from what I can see on the passenger seat. It does look really nice. Nice gun metal gray GTR. And then I think I spotted a Supra down here too. Yeah, we've got kind of this like dark green A80 Supra here. A little bit of damage on the rear quarter there. Dashboard looks incredible. And this one actually, uh, they crack a lot. This has been given a grade four. It's an automatic. Damn. It actually looks like it's in really nice condition. Headlights, you know, need some new lenses or a nice polish. But for the most part, this is really nice. Grade four, the auction sheet says, it's done only 29,000 kilometers genuine. So yeah, this is gonna be selling for a fair bit. Obviously not a turbo, um, a, a turbo Supra. So it will be a little bit cheaper, but these will still be selling upwards. Uh, I think last time I checked, which was quite a while now, like these were still selling for upwards of 30, 40 grand. Um, so they've definitely crept up in value even for an automatic non-turbo one. And then, ooh, what's this, a 34? with some fluoro wheels. I mean, that's definitely on uh, something I'd be interested in. It's got a GTR front bumper. Ah, four doors. Damn it. Ah, look, perfect example um, of why fluoro wheels aren't always the best choice. Um, so front, nice and bright. Rear has been in the sun a bit more. See how quickly those fade. They really have to stay inside. Nice little wing on it though, for a four door, not too bad. These are creeping up crazy in value too now, the four doors. All the old seats are in there. Looks like an old exhaust manifold's in there. Dude, this thing is full of parts. What the hell? Having a look here, it's a grade 3.5. Um, it's in 168,000 kilometers. Um, it's got a bunch of aftermarket parts and stuff like that. Really nice. Not too bad, pretty clean to be honest. For an ER34 with an RB25 turbo. Not bad, got some drift mods too. That's still gonna probably sell upwards of, uh, you know, 30 grand now for something like this though. Nice, those wheels. I like that look, the white 34 with the fluoro wheels. Huh. We got this nice spec S S15 here. 
A little bit dusty, but let's pop the engine bay, have a look in here, and then we'll look at the auction grade and see if it all matches up. So obviously Spec S, non-turbo SR20. You see there's a little bit of surface rust starting to come through up there. Uh, in there though is where you really want to look on these, and you can see in behind the wiper motor there, there's some serious corrosion going down. Um, you can see in this corner too, not too bad. Just looks like mainly that one trouble spot there in the engine bay, which is repairable and saveable. Um, looking at the auction sheet, they've given it an R grade. It's been oh okay. Looks like it's it's been pretty repaired before a fair bit. Repaired. Huh. Good indicator is to like try and look in the fuel here, and you can see what's going on. But for the most part, it doesn't look too bad. Um. Yeah, the paint's been kind of resprayed here at some point. The arches aren't too bad though. Not too bad. The rust is really the only like main point that I can notice and it's hard to see but there's a lot of orange peel in this paint even like with the dust on there you can really see it. So it's been uh, repaired before and painted up. For the most part the interior looks really good. I mean if I could get under this and really just check the chassis out and make sure there's nothing wrong with it it'd be probably a good deal with that little bit of rust to just repair in the front. Not too bad. Old Tom's wheel. That's kind of rare to see on an S15. Not bad. It's pretty clean. Not bad at all. Ah, yes. Typical sign that uh, something was up. You can see that the seat belts are missing in the rear, so probably at some point the rear seat was taken out or just left out because, you know, this car was probably used for a bit of fun. Get under here and have a look. It's got winter tires on there, so that worries me. That's an indicator that maybe this was driven in snow. Um, but from what I can see under here, it looks pretty clean for the most part. Yeah, just that one rust issue in the front, I think, from what I can see here. So probably go for a decent price. Not too bad. How many kilometers did it do? Oh, like 78,000 kilometers, so it's low mileage. Not bad for a great R, honestly. Just spotted this 34 GTT. If this is original factory paint, this will sell for a lot of money despite anything wrong with the car. Um, carbon hood, hood pins, RB25, Neo, Turbo, looks relatively stock other than the air filter. Um, usual places on the 34, you can see some rust is starting to come through there on the seam sealer, but that's still early, so you can clean that out, repair that pretty quickly and fast. Looks relatively good and all the usual danger spots. This is actually kind of nice, um, considering that this has a carbon hood. That's probably why it started rusting here is because there's vent there actually. If it has the OEM hood normally, it's pretty nice. Do the interior in here, it looks amazing, immaculate to say the least. Beautiful, bunch of cool stuff. Um, nice bride seat, everything looking nice there. Back looks clean, I dig this a lot. The auction sheet. I nearly bought one of these in Australia actually and then I decided to get the white one. Um, grade R. So yeah, it's got an aftermarket hood. The fenders apparently have been switched out. Um, yeah. 70,000 kilometers though. Yeah, this will sell for probably 35, 40 grand. Um, not too bad though. Really nice. I'm actually digging this a lot. Oh my god, it has the same pedal pedals that I had on my 34. I used to just have that one pedal though on the accelerator. I didn't have it on the brake and clutch. Dude, that's nostalgic. The cup holders are kind of nice too. Huh. Dude, I need a 34 so bad. What am I doing with my life? Alright, we made it to the manual JDM Imports Corner. Bunch of cool cars, 34s and things like that. But I spotted something through here that I want to check out. I spotted this NSX in behind this uh, Porsche here. And uh, what caught my eye as well is that it's left-hand drive. So I've told you guys before, but NSXs were very kind of like a hot commodity here in Japan, just like they are everywhere else in the world. But it actually worked out cheaper 
to import one from the USA. And so a lot of people that wanted these cars would import these from the USA. Um, and yeah, you just deal with a left-hand drive NSX. This one's an R grade. Um, looks like it's had a bit of body work and stuff like that. The paint's in pretty bad condition. You can see all of like the old tinting is peeling and clear coats peeling everywhere. Oh, it's locked, of course. It's like a, still like a $60,000, $80,000 car. Um, you can see the tail lights have been damaged a little bit here. It's split and cracked and it's kind of bending out a bit. Um, I wonder if this has been repainted because under here it's red. You can see like the paint's been chipped from the hood closing. Interesting. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, this would be a really good NSX for someone to clean up. Why on earth is this here? That's kind of weird. I wonder if that was like a requirement because maybe the US ones didn't have side indicators, so they had to add these for shuck-in. But isn't that one there? Huh. Mm, maybe just the owner did it. But yeah, there you guys go. Left and drive American um, NSX here in Japan. And I definitely am pretty confident this used to be a red one because you can see where the yellow paint's been chipping off everywhere. And there's red under there, even down in there too. So, yeah. It really is such a nice sight to see when you're walking through this section of the auction, like all these epic legendary cars. Look, four door 32 guys. Four door 34, four door 34. Like, you know, there's a nice stanced out 350Z. Maybe we should buy this for me for a first car. Just make sure I don't cop my legs on the 326 uh, lugs here. That's insane. Gosh, man, there's no way that's legal. That'll mess someone up if you cop their legs. Um, but yeah, no, it's just so nice, like, walking through here, seeing all these legends. Wow, that's uh, that carbon trunk seen some days. Wait, is there, like, even carbon on the roof? Whoa, yikes, what the... Yeah, you know, I probably um, don't know if I would buy this. How does this have a grade three? <sighs> the grading sometimes doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Look at all the... <laughs> I mean, you can see the putty and the bog in some places on the, on the quarter panel here. Like... Oh, the grading system does not make sense at all. It's locked though. Interior has definitely been uh, heavily modified for a bunch of gauges. Looks like a HKS Fcon and stuff. Uh, I mean, it's fixable. Is that? Nice. Got like a Cresta here. ZX100. I've always liked the Crestas. Actually, I wanted a Cresta, but then um, when I started looking at JZXs and the 100 popped up, then I kind of fell in love with the 100. But this thing's kind of nice too. It's been manual swapped, of course. It looks like the battery's flat. I mean, I will check with the clutch switch. I don't think these ever had a clutch switch in them. Yeah, no. I thought the battery was flat because all the lights are dimming the moment you try to crank it. But let's have a look at the engine bay. It's got an intercooler, so it's gonna have some basic mods. These things are tanks, man. Like, seriously, there's a reason why they drift missiles. Like, they are so good. Nice. Yeah, okay. Not too bad, hey? This relatively clean. A little bit of like oxidization on the alloy. It's got an aftermarket radiator, aftermarket pod filter, you know, all the good usual stuff, intercooler, all the good stuff you want to see for having fun. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, that's a bit weird, but yeah. I love seeing stuff like this, you know. <laughs> not bad, relatively clean. I wish we could start it up and listen to it. Nothing like a good one, Jay. So look at that rear end though. Nice. <laughs> Clean. Yo. I've been recently getting into Subarus. So get excited guys. There may be some Subaru content planned this year. Beautiful GC8. I believe this is uh, ours because it's got the, the roof vent. So this will probably sell for a fair bit of money. Um, let's have a look at that auction sheet. Got a 3.5, yeah, from looking at the chassis, it looked about that. This is gonna sell for big money, 68,000 kilometers. Uh, looks like there's some stuff here on the front left-hand side. And it's a V-Limited SDI. So yeah, the Rally Edition, 103 of 555. I like that, but I like this the most. Yeah, boys! <laughs> so dumb, so dumb, so dumb, but also so cool, you know what I mean? Just being able to have this for a flex. But yeah. 
not too bad. To be honest, the kind of Subaru that I'm probably going to be buying is going to be more on the cheaper side, um, just because I really like I want to use it to get into rally. So yeah, uh, I knew it was R something. It's a Type R A. There you go, guys. Tell me more about Subaru stuff. I want to learn. I am by no means an expert in all cars. I get things wrong all the time, and I love the platform here on YouTube that we have, where you guys can correct me and you know help me out, answer questions I have, and also just set me on the right, you know, on track if ever I get something wrong. I'm always learning, and I always read your comments. So teach me some things about Subarus, and uh, yeah, Subaru stuff on the horizon. So get excited. Got this uh, little bit of a beta looking. S15 Silvia here. Looks like a Spec S. Um, it's been like rattle canned black. So this would be, oh, it's locked, bummer. Uh, <laughs> of course, it's got an R grade. Um, the rear ends had an impact and repaired, which I'm not surprised. Oh yeah, you can see like there's weird like spray marks and stuff everywhere. You can see some putty, sanding marks and stuff there. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, look, this would be sick. Do a turbo swap on it shred love the wing and the puddle lines i always wondered like why don't companies like actually like just put rain holes in them because they always collect water so like so there's just some rain holes there to drain it out or like just like mold them in such a way that water can always like come off them and fall off them it would just be so much nicer that's actually kind of a cool wing um yeah man this is this would be a good show a good contendant for uh some fun activities if you know what i'm saying having a look under here it's pretty low to the ground uh, looking in the rear subframe section, there's really not too much rust. A little bit of surface rust on the exhaust stuff, that's normal. But looking at like the subframe area and stuff, it looks really nice actually. I like how low it is that it's like, you can see the uh, crushed like milk tea bottle there. Just having a look under here, it might be hard to see on camera, but the chassis is actually pretty clean. This would be a really good car for someone to, you know, who's into bodywork and stuff. Fix it up, repaint it a, a, an OEM color and stuff like that. Hmm. It does have an Ortec version sticker in there. I wonder if it is. Not too bad. Got this 180SX here in behind this 32 GTST. And then we got a Euro R here, I believe. I need to get more into... Oh, look, I got it right. Um, I need to get more into Honda stuff. 180. Hood pins. Oh, I like that hood. Nice. Yo, this is... Yo, Drift Muscle Championships. That's sick. Ah, oh, man, I wish Drift Muscle was still a thing. It got closed. It got turned into Drift Kingdom. They changed the name to Drift Kingdom, and then they closed it down. Right as I won it. I won my first competition ever at Drift Kingdom, which used to be called Drift Muscle, and it was a competition owned and run by Kechi Tsuchiya, the Drift King. And my first ever competition that I won, he handed me the trophy. So it was a very special moment. I should put the photo up here. But uh, real Ganadors, guys. It's kind of nice. Great R, of course, like all S chassis are. 111,000 kilometers. I don't believe that. <laughs> Probably the cluster's been switched out and it just wasn't recorded. Rear end's all been light repaired and stuff like that, of course, because it was a drift car. I mean, it has a drift muscle sticker on there, so I wouldn't expect anything less. But, dude, that looks nice. I like the aero kit on it. Got some origin vibes. Sick. 34, right here. Four door. Not bad. Subaru. Subaru. Could also be a Toyota. Um, dude, Beta S15s are coming in, so... Silver S15, this is a really insane beta. You can actually see it's had a big impact here and you can see all of the putty is in here. So see all these sanding lines here? That's full of putty here, all right? You can, like, they didn't even do a good job. They didn't even try to hide it, but like in behind here, oh yeah, that's a huge impact. You can, uh, dude, it's just like, you know, what do you call it? Self-tap it in. Is this open? No. Oh, dude, like the door is so messed up. Yeah, you can really see in behind the fender there, like, really big impact there. Like, they didn't even try, man. They just trying to, like, rattle can sprayed this and threw it in the auctions and held it all together, zip ties. It's got a turbo motor there, so it may have good drivetrain. Um, this, is, this is what I keep warning people. Like, literally half of the stuff that's... Most of the stuff that comes in the auction in the JDM category is all junk now. People just trying to make money off, you know, cars that really aren't good condition. This is done apparently 144,000 kilometers. It's marked everywhere for uh, repairs and change and pain, and yeah, it's an R grade. I mean, look, it, it probably has a good drivetrain. It's got some cool mirrors. That's kind of sick. Um, but yeah, like this is not something I'd recommend for someone to buy just because like, yeah, like it's even been smashed in the rear here. There's so much putty in here. You can see all the, like the surface rust there from the repairs. Like none of this is straight. 
this would be good for a beater car that you don't care about you know original fenders have been cut and chopped out not even done correctly it's all just open and exposed and rust there there's rust flaking off here on the chassis like this would probably be good for a missile and that's it to be honest like look at all that the number plate things have fallen off and rusted off the chassis in there there's normally like a plate holder in there that's missing um you can see at the seam lines here it's starting to rust through in the tire well um the the subframe's all been spray painted black so that's a big red flag and an alarm bell uh yeah you can see up inside in the quarters there it's all rusting it's hard to see yeah uh, oh yeah like oh it's so hard to see but you can just see they spray painted in there to hide all the rust like up and in there you can't really i can't get the camera in there but they're hiding stuff look this thing it's not something i'd recommend for someone who wants a good condition s15 for sure but if someone who wants one for like a beater or a missile this would be probably a good car to pick up for a good price and just know that you know this is really just for sending into walls and having fun you know i mean you could also fix it if you're in a body shop and you got the means and the time and the resources to fix it go for it but why well, start at this when you could spend something around the same kind of money that this will probably sell for for something cleaner that's non-turbo and just do a turbo swap you know just spotted this really nice fd i love this front bumper that's so cool i don't think i've ever seen this one before i wonder if they're kind of rare that looks sick it's like a kind of like porsche kind of style like old porsche style i dig that <laughs> Looks nice, it's red, it's got the cool wing. That's sick. Hell yeah. Let's see what else we can find. We got another 180 here, 32. And a Roadstar. These have crept up so much in value. Oof, look at all that rust. I don't think I've ever seen them rust in that rear um, boot trunk like that. It's probably just sat outside in storage for so long. That's the thing, like I keep warning everyone, like you gotta be so careful. Everyone right now has heard and knows that their old cars that they've been leaving like in their grand like parents front yard or backyard that's been rusting and got mold growing on it that's been there for years because they just couldn't afford the tax or they stopped driving. They've all just started selling them. Like everyone's been putting them in auctions and selling them because they're worth so much money now. And it's like, you know, all of a sudden they have, they found this bank account that has a bunch of money in it that they didn't know they had. So a lot of junk cars are coming through and you have to be so careful. Another thing that's been happening and it's always really happened, but it's really increased recently is scams. You know, people saying they have a car for sale and then people like, dude, that's so much cheaper than normal. It's a bargain. The guy doesn't know what he's selling. They think, you know, if it's, it, look, all I'm going to say is if, if it's probably too good to be true, like if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. Um, and yeah, you know, people transferring money and then getting blocked and not just like small amounts of money, big amounts of money. So just be really careful, be smart out there, guys. Um, there's always gonna be people taking advantage of this stuff. Nice SW20 MR2. These things are so underrated, I love them. One thing is I, I, I never knew that the OEM badges were painted over and I learned that in a previous video that you guys uh, pulled me up on, which was kind of cool to learn. I don't like it though. I don't like that the badges are painted over, but you know, this looks like a clean chaser. It's got some bright seats, some extra wheels in it. Yo, that looks nice. Real nice actually. Will it start up? Maybe. Hey, we in luck. Let's pop that hood. I love me a chaser. This thing's kind of clean. Need some fresh headlights. Hey, I got fresh headlights. Nice, this looks so unmolested. No front like intercool or anything. Everything looks straight and clean. Beautiful. Let's listen to that 1J a little. Dude, this thing is bone stock. Other than the cool FRP hood. This thing is stock. I love it. It's got a nice clutch on it. Someone probably drifted this or something. I just heard it actually. It's probably got a twin plate. Huh. It looks so clean and unmolested though. Maybe he like just started getting into it and did a clutch on it or something like that. I don't know, but still that's a clean one. Might take a picture of that number and see what it sells for and see if it's in my budget. Another FD. So many cool cars. And like I said, like there's a lot of beaters coming through now, just like this 180. Another NA, GC8. Ah oh, man, 
so many cool cars look at this 34 guys nice white gtt oh man that's no, a gt huh gtt it is it is it is a gtt just missing some stuff in the front and the bumper that kind of threw me off oh man giving me the feels s13 another fd fc next to the fd i like that and a 350z king of them all I love these cars so much now. Ever since I bought one, I've really been enjoying driving them around. Spotted this Hachiroku. Nice. Well, what do we got here? This is like a city or something, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's a Honda city. Huh. I'm interested in this Evo though. Looks like a six. Dude, it's even got the rally stuff in there. Oh, this reminds me of mine. Yeah, that's so cool. That's so epic. Oh man, I want to get my Evo up and running so bad. Oh, why doesn't that door close? Is it, oh, because the cage is in the way maybe? Yeah, the cage, you gotta really slam it. Damn. It's definitely a rally car, like it's been hit and stuff a bunch of places. You can really tell. It's all stripped out, no carpet anywhere in this thing. It's nice though. There we go, the real Hachiroku Panda. <laughs> I'm working crips too. Love that. Another 180 stripped out once again. Man, so many people getting rid of their like weekend race cars. Hey, look at this 34. It's got a bunch of custom work on it though. It's definitely like a GTT that's been converted to look like a GTR with the Z Tune kind of style fenders. Yeah, it's a GTT. It's been widened in the rear, so like a molded oh, over fender kit. Yeah, 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 see it now, see the body lines. Hasn't been done the best, but um, you know, it's not too bad. If, <laughs> if I had the money, I'd probably buy it if I had a couple of them already. Yeah, not bad. Another MR2, ooh, this looks nice. I love the old livery style on this. That's cool. Old Nismo sticker too, and it's got the light up number plates. That's actually really cool, like period correct. It'd be cool to see someone like remake all these old factory like Skyline option um, uh, stickers. Oh, it's even got the back one. It's melted, but dude, that's cool. Man, I want a 33. I want like a completely stock 33. I know we got the 33.4, but it'd be cool to get another one. Just like a stock 33, front, rear, everything. You know what I'm saying? This is great for, this is gonna sell for money. Series 2 front end. Oh, I always forget how heavy the 33 bonnets are. Yeah, this is nice. And the struts are in really good condition too. I'm jealous. Real jealous. Ooh, old MR2. That's cool. Yellow too. Oh, look, and behind's a nice 33 GTR with uh, paint peeling issues on the roof. That's actually super common. bad at all dude so many cool cars here and you really can't do it justice but hope you guys get a feel for what's here today and what to look out for another supra let's pop this oh look at the paint that's just been kind of painted over 2jz no what that's sick nice it's a newer jz too are these uh ganadors or fake ones huh they seem like they're real nice yo i haven't seen s13 tails like that Huh, they must, are they customs? I've never seen S13 tails like that. What are these? Does anyone know what these are? Huh. This is actually kind of a clean S13. Man, I can't wait to get back to the States and mold in my, my S13 over there. All right, we're ranting now, guys, but as you can see, a lot of cars here. Be careful when you're buying cars, be smart. <sighs> And yeah, make sure you're, if you're getting a car from Japan, go through a reputable company. Someone that is a real company that can give you proof or reviews of other customers and show you their work and all that kind of stuff. Someone here in, on the ground knows what they're talking about, goes and looks at the cars and can find all those issues. Because if there's one thing you've probably learned from just looking at some stuff here is like the auction grading reports, never trust them. Never, ever trust them. Yo, check this out. This is literally my K-Van, but with a lift kit. It looks sick. What the hell? Damn, dude, the tires like touching the stock, almost touching the stock suspension here. It looks sick. 
Oh, it's got the same interior color too. That's awesome. Yo, I wonder if it's got any uh, any turbo mods though. Let's uh, let's see. Will she start up? It's auto too. It is identically. Oh, it's a little bit of a different model. It looks like an older model. It's not starting. Oh, I guess you need your foot on the clutch at the, the brake. Oh no, the battery's just flat. Oh yeah, the battery's flat. Jeez, why is like every car at auction the battery flat? I kind of want to see though if it has any cool turbo mods. This is a grade four. It's just been painted black. <laughs> it's got the same seats, everything. All right, I'll close this down. I'm gonna lift this bad boy up. Oh, it's already been lifted up. Someone's looked at it. Yo, it's NA non-turbo, so not the same as mine. I like this more just because it's easier to access everything. The turbo ones have so much in there, but that's the whole valve cover. Look how tiny that is. That's that's my hand right there. That's tiny. We're inside now, and uh, new rules. I can't show you the the final selling price, but uh, there's a Hachiroku here that is just going crazy with price. It's already over 20, like 25 grand now, and climbing. Jeez. Best thing about coming to the auctions is it's it's kind of like a kinder surprise. You never know if you're going to go home with a new car or not. But that aside, I owe you guys a real one of these. <sighs> that nice chasers just popped up. That uh, blue painted 34 we saw. It is creeping up in prices already over 32 grand. Chase is probably going to sell around like 25, 26, but I can't show you the final price. All right, guys, back in the car now. The cars that I was interested in, way out of my budget, but that's normally how the auctions are. I am noticing though that prices have kind of leveled out and crept down a fair bit. There was a 34 V-Spec uh, GTR that was actually in really good condition that only sold for about 120. Previously, I'd see the same thing go for like 150, 160. So it does seem like things are kind of a little bit creeping down. Uh, which is good to see, but uh, obviously I think it's just because the market's so kind of like, we're not really sure what's going to happen. So it's going to be very interesting in the next few months, I think. But that aside, I hope you guys found today's video educational, like you learned something from it. Um, I hope I learned something from it. I'm looking forward to seeing whoops, what you guys say about Subarus and all that kind of stuff and what I should be looking out for. I'm really looking for like Probably going to be like a bug eye or something like that, like a WRX. I don't know, just something. A GCA would be cool, but I feel like that's a little bit too, you know, like out of my price range just because those are like kind of wanted as, an, as a car imported or exported. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the potential of that. But anyways, once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button, write the comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Loving this uh, Yashio factory jacket. But anyways, peace out. Ciao, mata.